Yeah, we had a big show at the Houston Astrodome, Superdome, where it was called at the time, and huge show, man. It was the No Limit Soldiers. Uh, Snoop was there. Man, Montel Jordan was there. Uh, I believe LL Cool J might have been there, man. You had Sons of Falk there. It was like we was the only R&B, like, group at the time, you know, all, all on No Limit. And then, uh, like, kind of rolling with, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, straight rap label like that, you know what I'm saying? That was dominating the industry. We had this big show, man, and it was crazy, man. I had I had never seen so many people, man, like it, and that was this was at the height of of Nolan. And I remember looking in the audience and seeing females, man, with you know, they they pulling their shirts down and lifting their dresses up and uh they got tattoos of the no limit tank on their bodies and uh uh, tattoos, a masterpiece face on them. And I even seen a girl, she was pushing her way up to the front, man, and she couldn't get past the security, but she was jumping, jumping up and down. And I was like, man, this girl crazy right here. Bad little chick. And I looked down, and, I, and she, was, she was just like trying to get my attention. I looked, she had a tattoo of my face on her. I'm like, what the hell? Like, that's crazy. It was like, that's how, that's how much love No Limit had. And I was like, yeah. you know, so I, I I was like, this is crazy. So, man, so long story short, we, we did the concert, man, turned it out. And uh, I remember, yeah, just getting rushed to the uh, the security vans, man. We used to roll in those, you know, you know those black Mercedes Sprinter vans, all blacked out. Uh, yeah. You know, we have a bunch of those. And then we would get, we would have police escorts with those vans at security like, take us to the hotel. So I remember that day, security's like, man, we need to hurry, we gotta hurry up, get in the van, we got to go, we got to go, let's go. So they rushed us in the van, man, it's like, got to get to the rooms, we want y'all to get to your rooms, and and, and, and Pete said, he, he want y'all to stay in your rooms, and want nobody coming out their rooms. And I'm like, man, what what is going on? And the first thing I thought, I thought it was some, some no limit death row, beef or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh-oh, that don't, this don't sound good. I didn't know what was going on. So I just know security was, you know, had everybody in their room. You had two securities at, because well, Pete, when we were doing touring, man, he went out two or three, like three floors of the hotel. And you couldn't even get up to them floors because he had them all for all the artists and security and everything. So, yeah, we were in our rooms, man. And, you know, I remember being, you know, like for the group, you know, it was it was four of us. You know, I had my own. We all had our own, like, penthouse suites, the lost big, huge suites in the hotel. And uh, two security guards stand outside my door, Rico next door. He in his own room. He got two security guards in front of him. I'm like, what is going on? I, I can't wait to tell what's going on. So, you know, finally later on that night, man, you know, the group, we all came together in a room, and I think maybe Moby Dick might have uh, came to our room with us, man, and we were sitting down, man, talking. He was like, yeah, man, uh, we heard, uh, like, Illuminati or some some, some some secret society type cats, man, some, you know, it was trying to holler at you, man, and they might have been on a recruiting mission, uh, you know, trying to holler at some of the soldiers. That's why he said, get to the rooms, we'll come out to the room and stand there. I was like, at the time, man, you know, I, you know, people heard of the Illuminati, but I'm like, you know, I, was, I didn't know if it was real or not, man. I'm like, but after hearing something like that, you know, it, that, after that story came, I was like, man, this shit is real. Like, it's like, I guess when you, you don't experience it until you get to, I guess, a certain level in the industry. And when, you know, you up at that level where, where No Limit was at that time, man, you have some some CD characters, man, some powerful people trying to solicit solicit your, your talent and, 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 you know what I'm saying? And, and I start to see, okay, this industry is a lot deeper than what I've ever seen. Cause I, you know, we have never been at that level to get. So Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.